This is the seventh part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. I would like to complete the settings of my example in Forte Simulate user interface by specifying the initial conditions and other important settings. As mentioned, the IVC calculator utility is useful in estimating the initial gas compositions at intake valve closure in diesel engines. To use this utility, we specify the amount of the fuel as I have already set in the spray models and put in the fuel composition that has been set. We can estimate the amount of air by setting the equivalence ratio phi as, for example, 0.6. And also we can put in an EGR mass fraction as, for example, 0.1. Once everything is specified, the utility will automatically calculate the IVC compositions assuming complete combustion in the cylinder. We can choose to record this mixture composition. I'll just name it as IVC mixture and use this in our initial condition setup. And for this example, I assume the IVC temperature as 362 Kelvin and the pressure as one bar. The initial flow velocity can be specified in absolute values as coordinate components or using a swirl flow correlation. In this case, I want engine swirl. The engine swirl flow correlation requires association of a moving wall boundary that has slider crank motion because the swirl flow is scaled with the angular velocity of the crank rotation. So recall that I have already specified piston as a moving boundary. Here I select piston boundary condition for the engine swirl correlation. Then for simulation controls, since we are doing a closed engine cycle simulation, I want to set the initial crank angle as minus 165 degrees. And the final simulation crank angle as 125 degrees after top dead center. The engine speed is set to be 1200 revolutions per minute or RPM. And note that this is a four stroke engine. This basically has completed the whole setup process. You can always click the check mark button and run a validation for the project and see if there's any error in the setup. If there's no error, you can go ahead and run the simulation. But before that, there are some helpful tools for sanity checks. In previous simulation, uh, you can play an animation to see if the moving boundary has been set up correctly or not. The animation runs through the simulation duration from IVC to EVO and shows how the piston boundary moves. On the left hand side, not only it shows the piston motion profile, but also significant events in the engine cycle, such as the fuel injection duration shown in the black shade. In this way, we can see how different events are positioned in the engine cycle with respect to the crank angle. 
Another very useful tool to verify the setup is called Compression Ratio Calculator. This utility computes a compression ratio based on the mesh volumes at the piston, bottom dead center, and top dead center locations. We can use it to check our geometry and boundary condition setup and to make sure that we will get the correct compression ratio of the engine before actually running the CFD simulation. The computed compression ratio is 15.56 for this engine. After verifying the project setup, you can proceed to run simulation and start computing. To summarize, I have set initial conditions by estimating the gas compositions at intake valve closure and set an engine swirl for the initial velocities. I have also set the starting and ending crank angles, the engine speed in simulation controls, the boundary motion animation in previous simulation and the compression ratio utility are useful in validating the engine setup. This concludes the seventh part of the demonstration.